well, it's Monday, and it's not always sunny in Florida. We have a nice rainy day today. So that means it's going to be interesting as far as what cars show up. Rain doesn't always do well for us, especially when the rainy season first starts. You know, people are like, oh, I don't know. Either way, let's get going. Well, hey there, Fernando. Well, hello, sir. How are you doing? I'm okay. Yeah? Well, that's nice. How are you? Did you sleep last night? Yeah. Yeah? Yep. You're kidding? Yeah. I thought he was up sick all night. All day. Huh? All day. All day. You slept all day? All day, man. <laughs> well, hey guys. Good Monday. I uh, hope you're having a wonderful Did I mention how much I actually hate our internet connection? It, it's terrible. So today's been really slow, which has been a good thing because what's it allowed us to do is clean this area of the store here. And I've been, I've been dying to clean this because we want to build a new workbench over here and, and whatnot. So this morning we went through and we reorganized everything and got all our plastic that you guys love all picked up, put away. Uh, we're hoping to build some bins. This is our TV for our Facebook Live. This is a new thing we just got so we can put door panels on it. It's a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. But it allowed us to clean up this whole area over here so that now when we get some more time we can actually start the construction of that. Now over here we have, surprise, another Jeep. But this Jeep isn't in for what you would think. He just had a birthday and his family bought him this guy here this is a little crash cam so what we're doing is we're gonna go ahead and mount this crash cam to the window up here and we're gonna go ahead and connect to the cigarette lighter to power it uh, wired up behind so you can't actually see it so that'll be nice buddy yes hey. sir you, know, you there yeah this is not even a factory ready it's not no what is no. it this uh, Chinese... Oh, one of the Chinese Jeep radios? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, that's fine. Um, here, give me the dash. I'll put it on the bench. I can't. Oh. This is like the antenna. I have to take the dash out. I mean, the radio. All right, we'll just put the, the dash in the seat. Awesome. Oh, there yeah, look are... at that. Oh, is that a Rosen? I have no idea. All right, well, hang on. Set this over here on the bench. Sorry. Sometimes it's the little things that make all the difference. So, for example... This is just going to be a USB that runs up to this dash cam. What we're going to do is add some of this flexi loom stuff over it so that it looks a little bit more factory-ish. I mean, granted, it's a dash cam stuck to a window, but you want it to still look good. So this part that he'll actually see, which is really only going to be about that, that much, this will look really nice. Now we'll go ahead and we're going to put loom over this. And that'll keep it nice and secured. All right, so there we go. Now the piece that's going to be run through the car, this stuff is all going to be extra behind the dash that, you know, be zipped up into a bundle. But the part that's actually running through the car will be nice and snag-free. All right, so this is what I was talking about. You got this little piece of flex loom here. It's going to run. It's attached. And then it'll run down into the dash where, you know, you don't have to worry about it catching on any of this sharp stuff here. So, and then it'll zip tie up to across here and look all sexy. And there we go. She's all done and put back together. She's talking to us. I don't want to talk to her. That's weird. All right, so I'm never surprised what we find inside of a subwoofer box when it's pulled apart, uh, especially when it's ported. So we have a couple rags and then yeah, this right here. This is the skeleton of an actual snake. Yeah. That's a first for me. So today in this episode of This Old Car Stereo, we have a bunch of parts. And what we're going to do is combine them all into one functioning radio. It's a classical gem here, so we want to make sure it works. So to complement the classic radio, we have a classic amplifier from Duel along with some Sony x -Plods. All right, so we have our Fernando's fancy fuse holder mounted. Uh, notice that you still have 
perfect access to the fuse box. It's L-shaped, so it makes it still real easy to still get to everything you need to under the hood. Old radio. Old Bluetooth radio. New old radio. Hey guys, listen, it's almost 6.30. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to take you guys along with us to get ready for the show. So let's, you ready, Fernando? I'm ready, man. All right, let's, let's go get ready for the show. Come on. You're coming with me. Got the monitor? I got my small monitor right here. All right, let's go. Alright, so what we have here is a Rode microphone that goes into the DVR that's located right there. This is the microphone you guys actually hear us on. It goes into a 6 Plus. Goes output. Um, grab the power cable for the um, for the iPhone. Plug that okay. in. So this is what keeps the phone going while we are playing. Over here is the DVR, and of course it. These we put these on our cables so we you know color match so we know what's what. These are video, blue is audio, and we have our tripod set up. So we'll come around here. It's a dual microphone stand we bought, and there's what it looks like. So we we can read the feed as it comes up, and of course you know we see what you guys are saying. So we're a couple minutes out, getting ready. We have our bar stools in position. Fernando's gonna grab us some water. He's eating his muffin. That's orange. Oh, you're eating orange? Okay. A couple more minutes, a couple more minutes to show time. Doing our last prep. Have the USB. This is where all the clear it's recorded to. Makeup! Where's makeup? Makeup. Does it look like it's too yeah. low? The screen, like us, does it look like it's too low? Like it should go higher? Really? I don't remember it seeing my balls. So we want to discuss the um, Alpine still delayed. What did they say? August, September? October. October. Alright, so. Alpine, October. What time is it? Yeah, I mean, we have a 280, we have a 290, we have a 280, I think we have a 270. You just need the CAC3 and me. So, he's got to get that. Oh. One minute and count. Surprise! <laughs> mm, yeah, yeah, that was on while I was. Yeah, yeah. All right, guys, it's time to go live. Here we go. Three, two, one. Ah, another rainy day.
So when you're going to add a high level to a low level adapter to your car to go to an amplifier, you want to check the speaker you're going to hook it up to to make sure it's putting out the sound you plan on amplifying. So for example, uh, the speaker here in the door. If this didn't put out any bass and we hooked up to it, then in turn our subwoofers would put out no bass. And vice versa, if we were trying to hook up a high amp and we listened to the speaker and all it did was put out bass, we definitely don't want to hook up to that speaker. So this is where your ears become the greatest tool you have. Turn on the car, play music, and then put your ear to the speaker and listen to it. Make sure it's playing the sound that you want. So if you're doing bass, make sure it plays bass. If it's doing trouble, you're doing you know highs amp, make sure it plays highs. Alright, so our Fernando Fancy Fuse holder is in and mounted. Nice and out of the way of all the fuse, fuses and computer stuff here. Alright, so we have our amplifier mounted underneath the seat using a quarter inch ABS panel so that it won't go anywhere and it's not screwed to the floor. Alright, so where's the bass knob? Uh, it's right here, sir. Awesome. Alright, let me hear it. Okay. <laughs> So Nissan makes this car, it's a six speaker option, it only comes with four speakers. So it comes with front door, rear deck, nothing in the rear doors. But the, fortunately for us, they all play four inch. So apparently today is Nissan day and all the Nissans are getting the cool Kicker 600. So this must be the flavor of the day. So we just put one in the Nissan Titan, now we're putting one in this Nissan Altima. Let's, let's, yeah, here we go. One of the favorite things Fernando loves about these Nissans is this guy right here, the emergency brake pedal. And the reason why he loves them so much is because the best place to get a hole just so happens to be behind the emergency brake. So, you know, this is, it's like right there. It's like asking for a hole. But to get to it, you gotta go through that. There it is, right there. The reason why most of us do this or have some fascination with this hobby is at some point in our life, someone gave us one of these cool cars and we were sucked in to the lore of the shiny, fast looking, yeah. But we're not doing that today. We have this guy right here that we just finished up. So what we got going on is like we said earlier, there's the amp. now. To, to make these, this is eighth inch Sentra. And the really nice thing about using it for this cross member is you can kind of see it's kind of like warped and bent here because the floor does that. 
So what we do is this stuff is really heat sensitive. So you just take a heat gun, you heat up both ends, you flow the seat up, you slide it in place, put the seat down, and then it'll contour to the floor and give you a really nice piece. You don't heat up the center though, because you want that to remain flat where you're gonna screw the amplifier to it. So you get this nice contoured piece in the corners here. Looks really nice. Uh, yeah. So let's go ahead and listen to it real quick. Hey everyone, how you doing? Welcome to Tuesday. Is it Tuesday? It's Tuesday. It's Tuesday. Yes, welcome to Tuesday. So today we have a fun one for you. Driving can be very frustrating. There's, there's, a, there's definitely a road rage problem in the world and just a rage problem in general. But the one thing you never want to do while driving is take it out on your stereo. For one, it can get expensive. Well, that's really it. It can get expensive. And what I mean by that is, let me show you this. This guy right here. So this is what happens when you get pissed off and you decide, you know what? The closest thing I'm going to punch is my stereo. So you ruin a cool touchscreen, cost you a couple hundred dollars, you know, and what have you accomplished? Not much. Nothing. So don't take your anger out on the one inanimate object in your car that, you know, punch your dash, punch the airbag, punch yourself in the face, whatever. Don't punch your radio. <laughs> it did nothing wrong. Other than just be your friend and try to play your music. And possibly, if you have Siri, answer incorrectly. Yeah, pretty much. You know. Well, look what we have here. It's another Nissan. This is cool. Oh, it's the radio delete version. Look at that. Hold on. Yeah, look at that. So this came factory with no radio at all. No, what are you talking about? You see the volume knob right here? Yeah, so there's no speakers, there's no radio. Hopefully there's an antenna. This was a really rare option. I mean, you they didn't keep these on a lot. This was something you actually had to order. Um, I don't know why. Well, I don't, I don't know. Like, hey, um, I want a car with no radio, no speakers. I mean, honestly, I bet you a lot of you guys out there would love to order a car with no radio because you don't want it. You're just going to put your own in anyways. But yeah, back then you could do that. Well, let's get into it and find out what kind of surprises we have. So, bonus, we got the doors off, and look at this. This one actually has a speaker in it. That's not going to stop us from replacing it. And the nice thing about replacing it is this guy right here. Which one was this? Was this a Metra? That's a Metra, Do you sir. have the model number? I have the model number 8274000. All right, so a successful Deccan 4. We added in his a USB and an aux to the pocket here, so you can tuck that away. Bluetooth mic is up by the mirror where, where we like to put it. And four new speakers. Rock on. Today we have the Porsche in. We're going to do the Euro Speed kit in it. We teased about this on Monday. Also, because it's Wednesday, the video of us doing one of these actually went up today on the YouTube channel, so we don't have to. If you want to see how it's done, you can go there and check that out. Let's go ahead and do this one though. Porsche is done, wonder what's next. What we just got in is a big F-250. I mean, big F-250. 
And what we're doing in it is he had a Kenwood 990 in it that just quit. Locked up, call it a day, see you later, bye. So he brought it in to upgrade it. So he's already removed the 990. So we're actually gonna go ahead and put it back a 893S with his Maestro. So we'll have to reflash that. We're going to incorporate the factory USB into this radio because they hadn't done that previously. He has the camera in the mirror. We're gonna go ahead and move that down to the Kenwood. Uh, we do have a video on how to do that if you guys haven't seen that one yet. We're also gonna replace the speakers here in the door and the rear as well as the tweeter. These are gonna get some punch tweeters. These are gonna get some power five by sevens. We're going to add in a front facing camera. See those two silver spots right there? We're gonna build a bracket, mount the camera right there. As you can see, this is a big truck in the flattest state in the country. We're also going to add in a 12 inch woofer behind the seat here. This area here, we're gonna remove this, take out the vent, cover the vent, dynamat the vent, or road kill the vent, I should say. The factory sub we just took out, so we're gonna put in an Alpine PDX V9 5 channel amp somewhere in this area here. Hey guys! Not ready, I need makeup. Yeah, so do I, my head looks a little washed out right here. Can I, can I get makeup? Where's makeup? Is it in the trailer? Some, someone Make give me. Makeup list. Yeah, I need. I, I, it's, it's really there. Well, maybe I should just wear a hat. There you go. There you go. That looks okay. good. I'll just come down lower. All right, so that wire you see hanging down right there, pro tip, he had the mirror camera right there, and we went ahead and we're going to move that down into the new 893S we're putting in the dash. Uh, for all you guys that are wondering, there's two wires up there. There's a brown purple and a white, I believe, green. The brown purple is a negative. The white green is a positive, solder on an RCA, we plug it into this radio. Of course, we have our camera tester right here that we were using to test it. Also, pro tip here, I wonder if I could do it right. Okay, so this had the sync system in it and we're taking the sync system out and the camera's gonna be a little hard to get in there. See this guy right here. This is the factory USB cable. It's hidden in here in the glove box. So what you want to do is unplug that, use a USB GM1 from PAC, and that will allow you to retain that cool factory USB right here. You just unplug it from there. You can actually pull the wire all the way up to behind the radio. Now, when you're doing it, this guy right here, the red thing, be ultra careful of that. That is the fuel cutoff. So if you get done with the car and the car won't start, chances are good when you're monkeying around in here, you hit this button, hit it again. <laughs> we know this because we found it out the hard way. That was a fun hour of our lives. This didn't have the Sony system, it just had the upgraded system in it, so there is no amplifier in this. However, if you are doing one of these and it does have the upgraded system, the amplifier is located behind right, here, right, right where he's got that or it's located back on the factory subwoofer. But those are the two locations Ford puts the factory amplifier in the F-250. Now, we're putting an Alpine PDX V9 in this bad boy. So we're gonna go ahead and pull out these speakers. We're running new wires. But what we're not gonna do, this was a question the other night when uh, someone was asking, do I put tweeters in the rear door? This has this silly ass tweeter right here in the rear door. The question was, do I use the tweeters in the rear door? And the answer is, like we said in the show, no, we don't want to use them. The reason why we don't want to use them is because when you close this door, that tweeter is located right there. Your head is right there. You're going to hear that tweeter, and it's just going to draw all your attention away from this nice front stage you have. So when we're doing this, we typically, unless the customer really wants it, leave those disconnected because it's silly just to have them. Ford... In these particular vehicles, they use this guy right here, this giant Molex, which is a real pain to run through. Um, I don't recommend it, it's not fun. So what we're actually gonna do is we're gonna run our big speaker wires all the way up to the kicks, and we're gonna tap in here so that we can, the, the 24 inches of wire, that's what we're gonna use, or the 12 inches, whatever it is, it'll be fine. Uh, we're just going to make sure from the back of the car all the way to here we have a much bigger wire. 
I don't want to damage, I don't like drilling holes through those things. That's just my personal preference. All right, so he had a Kenwood 990 in here that died, and this is the harness that these guys used. I mean, I, you know, whatever you want to do. But I, I have nothing against using crimp caps. If you want to use crimp caps, that's fine. However, would it kill you to use a zip tie just to bundle this up? I mean, really? So the plan is to loosen these two bolts, make a U-shaped panel that will, will slide over this and have a bend in it for the camera to attach to so that we don't actually, so we can just slide it through and attach it in place. That's at least the plan. Let's give it a go. top piece here out of quarter inch ABS the back piece is made out of half inch Sentra of course then the camera plate is attached there you go there's some adjustment to it so if we need to taper it down we can and it's not touching the light so we don't have to worry about it melting the plastic all right, well, the day is coming to an end. As you can see behind me, the truck is still here. We ran out of time, so we're not gonna be able to finish this one tonight. We got awfully close. To, well, we got kind of close. So let's take a look at the progress today, shall we? So we got the amp in and mounted and all wired up. So it's all hooked up. Of course, we haven't tuned anything yet. That's the really nice thing about these Alpines is they have these plugs that come out real easy. So that makes tuning it a, a, a breeze. And of course I label them, you know, why not? Um, Subwoofer is gonna go here. We got the vent taken out and covered up. There's plastic here, it's not just Dynamat. Don't put just Dynamat here when you take out this vent. There's another vent on that side if you're worried about it. Uh, and we've taken out tons of these vents and never had any problems. We've never had any windows pop out or anything like that. So all you guys in there, oh, what's gonna happen? Nothing, nothing happens, it works fine. We got all the speakers in. Uh, the dash is still apart, but we have the harness somewhere. Yep, here's the harness. Harness is all taken care of, so that'll go in tomorrow. Here's the leads for the camera, which Fernando just finished up somewhere deep buried in the bowels of there, so the camera is in. All right, and we have the Fernando fancy fuse holder in and set. What do we have left, Fernando? We have the radio and the dash. Uh -huh. We have to drill out or make the sub hole a 12 instead of a 10. Yes. Um, and then tune it. Is that, that pretty much it? Yeah. Finish running the wires into the, yeah, the front kick panels. Yes. Because um, the backs are in. I just finished all that. So the back is done. Oh, okay. Yeah, the, back, the backs are in and done. So we're almost there. But this is going to be the end, oh actually, this will be the end of the car side of the vlog. We, uh, Paul and I have a meeting tonight, a dinner meeting, so we're going to go to that, which I'm going to try to sneak a little bit of footage of. But otherwise, that's going to be the end of the vlog for this, for this half week, the new half week vlog. The plans, Fernando's actually going to join us 
for our meeting tonight. It just happens to be at the Indian restaurant that's in our plaza. The food is so amazing. Hey, who are you? <laughs> you must be Artie. Nice to meet you. It's a pleasure. Alright, so I know what you're thinking. Wait a minute, weren't you guys just at business and a meeting, dinner, went great. Um, but because it was in the same plaza and Fernando was able to go, he had a babysitter, which means we could actually come back and work on the truck. So we're finishing it up right now. We're getting ready to, we just got the iDataLink Maestro piece all synced up at a Ford, which is real fun. You gotta turn it on, turn it off, turn it on, turn it off. If you haven't done one, we have the Maestro in the Ford Mustang that'll show you how to do all that, and it's exciting. But if you hear the ticking, you know what time it is. It's polarity check time, or as I like to call phase check because I'm old and I can say that. And we have a guest here. All right, Joey, honorary phase guy today. Get the tool, pop the speakers. Let's see if they're, we want green, green, red. I don't know, pick up the tweeter. You got green, green, red? Yep. All right, go try the mid-range. Yep, perfect. You can see it from yep. here. Green, green, green red. red. All right, Fernando already did the rears. Yep. I'll do mine. All right, we got greens. And the song ends. <laughs> <sighs> All right, so the speakers all thankfully tested the right way. Um, so that means we're gonna mount the radio on the dash because that's still not done yet. Everything else is done with the exception of the tune and routing out the box, which we're gonna do tomorrow morning because it's dark outside and there's bugs and all that other fun stuff. And I'm, I'm tired enough as it is. So we're gonna put the radio on the dash. So tomorrow, all we have to do is tune it. Let's see what the radio looks like in the dash. Ready? Magic. I can't snap. There we go, and there it is, all set and ready to go. So we retain the factory USB, retain the aux, actually, because this had sync, we just relocated them like we've talked about three times now. Let's go ahead and put it in reverse. There we go, the factory camera is now on here. Now, one guy asked us the other day, how do you get rid of this? Touch it. Let's take it out of that. And of course, all you guys, I know you want I know all you guys want to see this, which is the, let's hit menu, let's select camera, and there's the front camera. Look at that. You tap here, tap here. So these backup lines, like you guys are, these are actually the factory camera backup lines. This 9903 will generate them, but he already had them from the factory. There is a ghost image of Joey right here, just, just showing right there. All right. Oh, wow. All right, so this is the real time. Now we're done. We're getting out of here. We're gonna go home for the day. So we hope you guys enjoy this half week vlog video we just put up. And we look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Yeah. And the day after, and the day after, and the day after. And of course, then on Sunday, another half vlog. It's like two pieces of cake. So it's like having your cake and eating it too. Like half and half? Whatever, say goodbye. All right, see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, bye.